I talk many times about the fact that a glioblastoma diagnosis comes so unexpected. It's like a thunder in the clear sky. Most of the times the patients will end up having a seizure and coming to the emergency room. Other times they are not speaking as clear as they did or they have more headaches and more difficulty walking. When I was first diagnosed, I, I was actually out dancing. My right arm went numb and I thought, oh, that's really weird, that's not good. When I went to the hospital and have it checked out, they found the tumor that was July 1st of 2007. On his type of diagnosis, you count survival in very short years. You don't count survival in decades. The plan for each patient has to be on multiple dimensions. The first dimension is who is the patient, who is the patient environment, who is the patient's family. The second level is going and studying the tumor to the highest level, obtaining the new genetic information, trying to understand how we can personalize treatments to the patient's genomic approach. A third level is can we use the patient's own tumor in order to develop a new immunotherapy or vaccine that will be specifically generated toward the disease the patient has and not something off the shelf that have been used for thousands of patients but which might not have the level of specificity needed. With Dr. Boda, she would just stop at nothing to keep me on the right track of the treatments that would keep me alive and improve my quality of life. She has been a genius. We look at each patient individually, trying to make sure that everybody gets the maximum amount of attention and their needs are addressed. But then we try to look at all our patients as a collective and trying to learn from our patients as of what is the next topic that we need to research in order to improve the patient's survival. When I was first diagnosed with this kind of tumor, the average lifespan was 12 to 15 months. Most of the people were dead within two years. And now I've been 13 years, four months, and three days since I was originally diagnosed. At UCI Health, we really stop at nothing to deliver the best, most comprehensive care for all our cancer patients.